hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my latest luxury wish list so guys I wanted to make this video because I've updated my luxury wish list there are some handbags on there that I've removed not because I don't like the bags I just feel like there's a lot of hype around the bags right now so I'm not I don't really want them at this moment. Will this change? Maybe. Um, and that's why I kind of want to share this luxury wish list with you guys because my wish list, I'm not sure if you create a wish list or if others out there do this as well, but my luxury wish list is always changing. Um, I feel like my style, not my overall style, but sometimes like the stop my style the things I want to wear kind of changes um, so yeah I've updated my luxury wish list and I wanted to share it with you guys so I have it here on my phone um, and I'm just gonna go through it really quickly so the biggest thing that has changed in my luxury wish list is that I've now added jewelry um, I love jewelry in the sense of I like simple um, pieces so I find that now I love more high-end jewelry I do know that once I start getting into this category you know I'm in a whole different ball game um, I'm still gonna love my handbags I do have some handbags I'm gonna be sharing with you guys but I do have jewelry as well one of the pieces that I've been looking at getting is the Van Cleef and Arpels um, Vintage Alhambra. I think that's how you pronounce it. You've probably seen it on a few people if you're an Instagram lover. I don't know if you realize that they're Van Cleef and Arpels kind of jewelry, but they are. I love this piece. It's very, very simple. Um, I just love the pendant. I will say that one thing about this piece is just guys you can't shower with it you can't put perfume on you can't it's very very delicate um, and it's not inexpensive um, so that's why I'm kind of like okay I have it on my wish list um, let's just see how I feel about it I don't wear perfume like that so in that regard I will be fine um, however I can tell you I am awful when it comes to showering with jewelry like I don't think about taking off my jewelry like that. I pretty much always have this necklace on. I do not take it off. Um, so I'm, I will struggle in that area. So I'm trying to practice. I've been practicing on taking off my necklaces, just taking off all my jewelry, just prepping myself for these kind of pieces. So the next piece I'm gonna be sharing with you guys from my luxury wish list is the Sonique Saturday handbag. And I know some will say, well, is that really luxury? Um, I don't know but I added it to my luxury wish list and it is the your fake like this Birkin bag you've probably seen it everywhere um like I, I've mentioned it in another one of my videos but guys I am eyeing this handbag I just cannot wait to get my hands on one I think I just love the aesthetic of it but I also want to feel it like I, I'm just curious to see how amazing this bag is because for some reason just off of the pictures I feel like this bag is going to be amazing so I just I want this bag guys um, so it's on my wish list and I'm pretty excited to try to get my hands on it like I am working on getting my hands on one of these handbags the next bag that I have on my luxury wish list is the Chanel 19 and I'm trying to decide which size I want this handbag in I feel like I've seen some of the smaller ones and I don't know how it would fit my body type I'm more of like a medium large um, kind of handbag girl one because I just love how big they are in a sense um but I, I think it just fits my body type more like sometimes I feel like if you get a bag that's too small it just looks a little awkward um but overall I am just trying to figure out what size I want in this handbag um I love it I, I just I love how this handbag looks I love the mixed metals I love that it's a single flap I love how the leather looks. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it in leather or I've seen the denim. Um, so I'm kind of just like, there are a few things I'm trying to figure out um, with this bag before I purchase it. Um, but just know that it is on my luxury wish list. The next item on my wish list is another piece of jewelry and it is a Cartier bracelet. No, it's not a love bracelet. Um, it's the Just Unclue 
bracelet I think that's how you I probably butchered it honestly that's probably not how you say it um, if you know how to pronounce that or how I say that then let me know in the comment section down below but I do think it's the Justin clue bracelet I just love how simple this bracelet is um, I've seen a lot of reviews I've been looking into this bracelet I've actually had it on my wish list um, for a while like I didn't physically put it on my wish list like I have it now but it just I just kept thinking about it kept thinking about it I know a lot of people have the love bracelet but I don't know I just I don't love it um, but the Justin clue bracelet I just love that I love the aesthetic of it like it's fun it's simple yet fun and it's just how that nail piece looks on the top that just changes the vibe for me um, I'm trying to also once again it's a delicate piece um, so I know it gets scratched up I know all of those things so I'm just I'm trying to figure this all out guys because these bracelets are also not inexpensive when you start getting into you know high-end jewelry you you're gonna be spending a ton of money um, so I'm just trying to be careful uh, as to what I pick out especially when they're my first jewelry pieces okay so the last item on my luxury wish list right now is the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pump guys 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 this pump is just everything and I think I want it in yellow I've seen it in like this reddish orange kind of color which I've been eyeing as well I've also seen it in gray um, but I think I want it in yellow and of course I want the color that's probably very difficult to get um, it's not like these pumps aren't difficult to get anyways like I've been on the list and the one thing about Manolo Blahnik when you go on their website like they only hold your name on this list for like 120 days so if you lose track of the time they'll drop you off so if they restock you're not made aware so I try to keep my name like on on it however yes I want the yellow Manolo Blahnik guys the the satin on these shoes that like beautiful little jewelry piece in the front I think I want it in the 105 um, which I believe is about five inches it's a five inch heel I think the 90 is like a three and a three and three quarters if I'm not mistaken um, but I think that I want the 105 guys I can just see myself wearing those with like some nice simple light blue jeans maybe a white t-shirt a cute blazer or maybe not even the blazer just accessorize that outfit up with those heels I, I have so many images when I I think of those heels guys and I am really <laughs> I'm trying to get my hands on those heels um if you know where I can find them let me know in the comment section down below everywhere I've checked like I've checked Farfetch I've checked um Saks I've like I said mentioned like I mentioned I've checked the Manolo website um Netta Porter I've I've been looking for these heels but they're just very hard to get your hands on especially the yellow the yellow is very hard um, I've heard they're very very comfortable I've personally not tried them on yet however I've heard they're very comfortable which is another pro for me as I get older I lean more for comfortable shoes it's not like I don't wear uncomfortable heels but I prefer a comfortable pump if you know what I mean um so yeah guys that is the last piece that's on my luxury wish list please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well guys if you're new to my channel my name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle if you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below see you in the next video